Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Metamorphosis, an absolutely banging name but also <laughs> quite a brilliant adventure game with some puzzle and platforming sequences to add into the mix too. Now this was developed by Ovidworks, not Covidworks so don't even make the joke, <laughs> published by All In Games and is available for $24.99 or £20.99 in the old UK of K. By the way, big thanks to Ovidworks and All In Games for providing me the code to bring you this. Now it is slightly steep so of course alternatively you could just wait for a sale or if it comes to Game Pass or PS Now. Either way, it is bloody worth grabbing as it is a cracker. So we play as Gregor, who for some reason turns into a bug, but it's nothing like a bug's life on the PS1 or anything like that. We actually need to save our friend Joseph from being arrested and sent to prison for something we don't actually know what. So <laughs> there it is. Uh, but there's no enemies to worry about in the game or anything, but there's plenty to do in the game's few hours to get the 100%. As for achievements and trophies, there are the Normal few missable ones, story related ones and 20 collectibles that we need to grab, but again, nothing is overly complicated and I will be here for you my beautiful people to let you know how to get certain achievements and get past certain puzzles etc etc. Now it should take around 1 to 2 hours to complete, we can't really die that much either, but just note there is an achievement for dying 6 different ways of course I'll let you know. But just a few platforming sections you need to not fall off as it is a minor inconvenience. <laughs> But with that being said then, let's begin. So we, as I said, wake up at Gregor. We wake up basically with the biggest hangover known to man. And I tell you what, something must have happened in that bloody party because as you see, we start turning into a bug. It's not really a spoiler alert because that's the whole premise of the game. Uh, so there we go. So first of all then, you can read the letter if you want, there's really no need, but basically the key that we need is in the top drawer, the top right hand side drawer. So go ahead and pick that up and then obviously just go through the door, that's nice and simple to begin with and then we can just walk down the hallway for a sec. But I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar though. So here we go then, into the next room, we are... Basically, I think we're just turning into it now, so go under the table, go next to the iron board, that'll automatically switch down, go up and then onto the desk on the left, so we are sort of bug-like now. Again, you can read the letter if you want, but the key for the to get past the next door is in the same drawer as the last one, so the top one right there. So grab that, go down, go up these next uh, books, and onto the shelf to open the door, and once again we're just walking through this Weird ass corridor. A ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds. Right then, so now we realize we're just turning into a bug. God knows why, something must have happened at that damn party last night. Damn, that's some strong drugs. So we press A to jump, any time we see these, um, I don't even know what they're bloody called, we can hold the X button or push up and down, that will move the object in front of us out of the way and we can move through. By the way, it's right trigger also to sprint and you can also do, you can also jump farther, or further, sorry, by sprinting and holding the A button for longer, so that just makes you jump a bit further, that will help, big time in the game. There's also another little game code, we're just sort of going down this chair, obviously make sure not to fall off so far, but if you press the B button, it'll tell you sort of where you need to go and what you need to do and everything. I actually got quite lucky there because there was something underneath, but that's just where you need to jump down, so just keep finding places to jump down with. Jump up over this chair, we are going to be heading for that desk over there. Now, of course, this bit is particularly easy, but a little bit later on, it can potentially get a bit confusing as to what you need to do or where you need to go, just because there's <laughs> so many things. But obviously, I've, I'll try and slow it down just for you. But what we're going to do first is jump off this book. When we land down, jump off the chair onto the floor. That is the first way of dying for the achievement Captain Planet, which we need to find six different ways to die. So before you move on, just jump off the book onto the floor and that will be your first out of six deaths. Now this bit of sticky here will actually come in handy. If you hold the left trigger, 
you can actually climb up things. Again, it can be a bit disorientating sometimes to sort of get your bearings and everything, but you should get used to it quickly. Head over straight and hit this thing off. Basically, these are the, what the collectibles look like through the game. There are 20 of them, so obviously I, I'll tell you when we're coming up to one and everything, but make sure to grab that before we leave as well. So yeah, like I said, when you're climbing and everything, the camera sort of pans up and down, so... Don't try and move it or anything because you'll just end up getting really confused like I did a couple of times. So when you're just climbing up things, um, just don't bother moving the camera. It will sort itself out. But that is basically the tutorial of it all. I mean, obviously, there's going to be a few more game mechanics a bit later on as well. We unlock our first achievement as well. This one's story related. So, of course, do not worry about that. And I thought this was a glitch, first of all, but it's actually not. That's part of the game. And it basically means that we are going to be beginning now. <laughs> so immediately when we start, just jump off to the right into the sort of blue liquidy stuff. And that is Captain Planet six ways to die that's the second way out of six to die so that bit isn't uh, obviously too bad makes it nice and easy but this is just a platforming section so obviously just follow there's only one path to go really but look out for don't try and be a hero and jump too far there will be sort of rocks that come up from underneath you so just wait for a few seconds otherwise it is only theoretically just one path to go Captain. Everything seems unfamiliar and bizarre. Wondering if this is all just a bad dream? Relax. Everything is fine. Fine? This is fine? You are not the only one. There are more people like you who change into insects, but pull through and even found a job. But I had the job. I liked it. Well, sort of. Yes, a job. All thanks to Tower. They have Tower is a modern office space offering honest, highly paid work to people turned into bugs. At Tower, you'll soak up specialist skills, acquaint yourself with amicable arthropod associates, obtain opportunities for occupational augmentation, and discover a different destiny for yourself. For the best employees, restoration back to human form. So there we have it then. So obviously we will find out what's happening the more we go into the game. By the way, the loading screens will take a lot longer for you, about a minute. Obviously I've just cut it down for time. But try and follow my path the best we can. Um, obviously there's a few ways I think you can get up, but obviously there's so much that's going on it might disorientate and confuse a little bit. Make sure to get sticky sticky stick stick, which is, is going to help us right now. There's Joseph, he's... Ah, look at his little button mushroom erection. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. That's weird to look at. So climb up to the left right there. There's a policeman who's searching through his stuff for some bloody reason. But we're going to go around the back past the lamp right here at the back wall. And we're going to push this button. Now we need to go to the alarm clock. That will wake Joseph up. And it's just to the left as you can see. So jump up, climb up, and then do the big Assassin's Creed leap of faith. And then we're on this sort of, uh, we can move this spinny boy. And that'll wake him up. And the policeman's going to shoot himself. And that is one big massive forehead. Five head, six head, mate. You want to get your six head checked out. 
Um, but anyway, you can keep listening to the their conversation if you want, but, you know, we're just going to continue moving on for now. If I can actually get up. So we are going for the second collectible. I do make a bit of a sort of big edit here. So get so jump over this ashtray. And down here, there's a book that is to our left that we can go down. So we climb on this book right here, just about. And to keep going down, there is a book just off to the left-hand side. So I'm still on that same book. So if you just jump down from where I was, where the edit skip happened there, there was a book that is on the left and then just follow the path around to the collectible. I do apologize for that particularly poor edit, um, but I was looking around for this for like 10 minutes. I didn't have a bloody clue where I was going, but yeah. So when you get off that book at the top, there is a book that is going down on the left, and then of course, like I said, go around and just die here if you just want to get back up. If you've run out of sticky boys, sticky stuff, it just makes it a lot easier. And then we can just move forward. But of course, remember to grab that second collectible before we go on. So let's go through the hole now. And again, there's only really one way up, but it can be sort of quite disorientating and quite confusing, you know, seeing as everything's massive and everything. So make a big leap here and just sort of follow the path. Uh, follow exactly where I go. Happy days. Don't eat the pills. You'll be tripping your nuts off for days especially when you're a bug. And before we keep going forward, if you take a look at the right on the boxes, the sort of colorful pan boxes there, that's what we'll be jumping on uh, because there is our third collectible just behind this gap in the wood right here and just at the end. So, from this point, we'll be getting another achievement. It's story-related, unmissable, but we're going under the gap, through the right, through the hole. This is where we meet our first bug. Now, you can either have a look through all the dialogue, as you can do, uh, have a look at what the story is, or you can just press and hold the X button to skip all of the dialogue. Now, a lot of the time, I'll obviously end up just skipping through it. Again, just saves a bit of time. But it's always worth just checking out the dialogue and uh, enjoying the story for what it is. If you know what I mean. So, try not to uh, die in the sludge if you can. The checkpoints are pretty generous in this game. Even if you do die, uh, you start pretty close to wherever you died anyway. So that's all good. Again, we'll be following a sort of linear path. So get the sticky stuff going. Hold the left trigger. And then just clamber on your way up. And then release the left trigger. That'll obviously release you onto another sort of path then. Go upside down right here. This is where it's going. we're going to get another achievement. Again, it, some of it might be slightly confusing and a bit disorientating. But you can literally go anywhere upside down in the game. But I thought we'd just get it out of the way there. So, for instance, obviously now press and hold the left trigger. Because if you press the left trigger once and just walk forward and release it, you'll actually obviously fall off. So, it does take a... Just a little bit of getting used to, but again, it's not too bad once you realise what you are doing. So again, we're just following up the path. We are getting another achievement that is coming up. Now, this one is called... Uh, basically, we've got to kill the tiger. But I don't know where the tiger is. So... I can't even tell if this is story related or not, but just climb up, climb up on top of the book, get the sticky stuff, climb up on the book, climb up, and there's going to be a little bit of shelf that we will end up on, like right about now. And then, of course, press and hold the left trigger again, that'll get us on this next part of the wall, or the desk, or whatever it bloody is, and then just clamber your way up, and this is where the survival of the fittest achievement will unlock, for some reason it took me a while to unlock. But we're back up on the desk now, so you see where Joseph and the two police officers are. The police officer is going onto a plate, so we need to be sprinting, heading towards that plate. Jump up on top, just climb on one of the, <laughs> climb up on one of the pieces of toast and you'll get eaten. But that unlocks another achievement, the elevator bug achievement. For some reason, both of these achievements will unlock for me uh, so soon. <laughs> Mm, nice breath, son. Jesus Christ. Brush your damn teeth. 
I don't know why the whole British prejudice thing about having big and brush smelly teeth is true, but they always seem to do it in video games and films and um, or TV shows. So that's just how it is. I brush my teeth, by the way. But this is where my two achievements unlock for some reason. So like I said, survival of the fittest you would have got for getting up on top of the desk and the elevator bug one you would have got for getting up on the piece of toast there. Make it. Another thing which makes me laugh is they didn't even try to kill me. They were just like, oh, well, <laughs> something must have been disgusting on that piece of toast. But we are getting into the collectible score all the way to the end. Oh, it's basically the end of where the books are. And to the left, there it is then. That is another collectible. Again, there's only 20 of these to collect, which is always handy for us. But now we can move on. And you just seen, as I looked to the left, there was like a weird symbol on one of the doors. That is the tower symbol. That's what we will be taking a look at. That symbol right in front of me. But for some reason, we can't squeeze through. Bitch, you need to lose some weight off your bug ass, apparently. But this is where we are then. So that's where you know you are on the right track. So again, we're heading up. They're always sort of linear little paths. Um, we need to stop the water flow. So climb up. And then what you need to do is just jump on this lever right here. Make sure it's down, which means it's in the off position. And then just jump down the drain. Go to the left and just keep following the towery tower symbols. Uh, but we, this is another achievement right here. Just talk to this guy. Again, I'm pretty sure you cannot miss this at all. But, dude, that is one f that is one big old apple fat squad ass. So again, this is just a, like I said, another little linear path. You'll see many of these, um, but to get through this bit might be a bit confusing, but just jump over the hole right here, and just to the left, there is a plank of wood, which will enable us to actually jump up to the pipe above. There it is. Uh, just head down, but before you move on, go to the right, immediately to the right from here, to find yet another collectible. See, told you I'm full of guidance and help. This should be called the Guidance Helper Guidance Guy. I'll think of another name later. But otherwise, we can swiftly move on. Have a little chat if you want to. So then, welcome back to the desk. We'll be getting another piece of Captain Planet for dying in different ways. So as soon as we begin here, jump straight into the green, disgusting sexualness. 
There's no such thing as disgusting sexualness, but jump into the acidy looking thing anyway. That will get us uh, the third way to die out of six. And be careful here because you could be sprinting along and remember that there are gaps in the books. So you'll have to be careful. Make sure to jump. Obviously, wherever you know sort of books are coming to an end, don't just sprint and run, otherwise you will be uh, falling down. And it's not, it's just a minor inconvenience having to start from the top again, <laughs> to be honest. Otherwise, we're just following the path around. You see the tower symbol again, that is where we are going. And keep going up, and then just knock off this apple. And for some reason, they can see the apple, but they can't see a disgusting, you know, six-legged creature. And sorry, Joseph. Um, sorry, Gregor. Joseph doesn't really speak bug, which is a damn shame. <laughs> Nobody understands that. Nobody. Anyway, so we're jumping down, jumping down, and we're just jumping into the box. This is basically going to end this section of the game. For identification. <laughs> So welcome then. This is this is still a level, but it's sort of our first kind of free roaming area where we can just take more of a look around than sort of crawling through desks and everything. But first things first, we've got a bunch of mushrooms right here. Now I'm going to call them magic mushrooms because it's making us trip our bowels off. Um, so sort of climb up on the rock, turn back around. You know, we get into the highest ma magic mushroom point right here to be able to jump across to the next rock. And on the left, as you see, is another collectible. After we, after we're on the come down and we start chilling out, because yeah, that is definitely magic mushroom to me. <laughs> but also, I do apologise. Uh, the frame rate in the game, I'm not sure what it's like on the PlayStation, but on the Xbox, there was just certain points in the game. The uh, frame rates dropped quite significantly, so I do apologise if that is quite frustrating for you. It was for me as well, which was a bit of a damn shame, but I don't know if it was just because of loads of things that were going on or whatever, but the Xbox couldn't handle it, or if it was just the game itself. But I do apologise for any frame rate issues that you end up seeing in the game. So go ahead and just talk to this big old beefy roid bug right here. And again, just hold uh, X to skip all the dial unless you wanted to look at the stories. But from there, go to the right. You see the clock directly in front of us now. And we'll be climbing up on this sort of wire next to these stone weird looking things. Uh, just keep climbing up and there is the our next collectible. So that's happy day. You're starting to fly through them. But from the next collectible, just basically go directly ahead of us. And you'll see one of those uh, spinny, turny, spinny boys. Uh, which we can... I'll call it, a, is it a rotary wheel? Yeah, it's a rotary wheel. But I prefer spinny boys. So hold X again, move it, and that what that's going to do is open up the door for us. But it's also going to unlock us another achievement as well, so good spinny boy and stuff there. Now we can just move it on. So again, obviously just remember, I cut down these low times, it'll take about a minute or two for you. But now we're in the lawyer's office, and he's got his wrinkly old chesticles out, which is never delicious to see. But head toward the um, gramophone right there, jump down. We're going to be heading on a pile of boxes anyway, but we'll, before going forward, we'll be going back on ourselves. Keep jumping down, you should be okay. You can't really die from fall height, it's only if you end up on the floor, lit the literal floor, or in vats of acid or anything. So there is our next collectible then, and now we can just move it along. Uh, get a good run up <laughs> to get on these books, because you might just fall, obviously, again, that's just such a minor inconvenience, but it's bloody annoying if you fall two or three times. And then just keep heading on forward, go and get some blue sticky stuff, which we that's not actually blue sticky stuff, that's just part of the bolt. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and then head on under, keep going straight, and there's another collectible to our left. With a bunch of other bugs. Now again, none of these bugs can attack you or anything. You don't have any enemies in the game. It's more, like I said, of a puzzle, platforming, adventure, all types of stuff. Go ahead and talk to this, hey handsome bug. 
and you will meet again. Maybe for a good reason. Luckily, we don't get to see no mating bugs or anything, because this shit is disgusting. Although, those bugs are getting in more than me. Anyway, moving on very quickly. <laughs> My personal life sucks. No. We are just heading up again. It was the only path up. Now, this part... Uh, done my head in a few times. Basically, our again next job is to just just climb up and up and up. But if you fall, it's quite a quite a big way to fall down. So it, again, it's just such an inconvenience to just uh, keep going up. So talk to this bug right here. Again, you'll be meeting him as well later on, and then go to the right of where he was. And you'll see a little cable on the wall. Jump on that cable. Make sure to do it on the wall so you don't end up falling like I did two times there. And then just carefully climb up. Keep going. Follow the cable and then jump to your right. Head straight. Obviously, there's only really one way to go. Right here. And then jump on this mechanism. You should be fine at this point. Be very careful with this bit. Uh, this you just have to get. Just have to get to the other end there but obviously it's quite thin so you don't want to be falling here jump again this time you can jump now to the right to behind you and go up I'm only commentating on this bit because it can be uh, quite tricky sometimes especially if you fall it's just a pain in the ass now this bit you've actually got to jump on the red lever which is directly in front of you that will slow the gramophone down or the mechanism for the gramophone down and that will actually allow us to climb on otherwise if you just try climbing on too fast it'll just fling you off you go on the floor and then you've got to do this again I, I'm fi in fact I think it was about five or six times where I had to do this because I kept messing up certain sections which is a pain in the nut and nut and nutters But we have made it. So jump on the record right here. Make sure to aim for the needle. And he'd be all like, Hey, what the hell happened to my goddamn record, man? I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> or something 110-year-old Mr. Burns looking people say. Uh, <laughs> so Joseph's appearing now, but he's left the door open for us, which is nice and kind. So jump down in there and you should get a nice bit of run up. And again, hold A for as much as you can. That'll give us enough of a boost to be able to get on the chair right here. That's a big old chair, man. Mr. Burns' lanky neck right here. Coming up to another collectible now, mind. So just jump up on the buck and get to the end. Take a little look down and sort of to the left. May seem like there's a never-ending bit of floor to go to, but there's always books there. So to the left, there's the collectible. And now what we'll be doing is making our way to the right. So just jump on the lip of the book and head to the right carefully though so you don't fall and die. You've come as a very inappropriate moment. Now, I was told to come now. I know, but you see, my desk is broken. Uh, what do you mean? Inside I have the ledger yes, with I'll all the cases. Without it, I cannot work. Well, can the desk be repaired? <laughs> Probably. But for now, we must await. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charge. So now we find ourselves in the inside the lawyer's desk. Don't do what I did just there and jump into nothingness. That never usually helps because <laughs> we need to jump across to the other side. So go ahead and do that. That'll make your game a lot easier. Uh, now go ahead again. This is just a tiny linear path, but we're going to be coming up to another big uh, sort of area now where we'll get another few collectibles and have to... Um, do just a couple of small little puzzles. Again, the, the puzzles are not too bad, but this is where the frame rate issues for me start really um, taking its toll. I even tried to restart the game and everything, but for some reason, this part of my game anyway kept frame rating dropping bad. So hopefully it's not the same for you, but apologize if it sort of um, makes, makes the viewing a little less pleasing on the old eye. So, go past this electric wire right here, the one that is sticking up. Go onto the spinny boy rotary wheel. 
and we'll be making some spanks. Sadly, I don't think it works for relationship sparks. You're going to have to find that yourself, I'm afraid. It would be a lot easier if you could just spin a rotary wheel, but life isn't that easy, which kind of sucks. So keep going enough until you know that the spark, you know, about 10 to 15 seconds should do it until the spark is constant, because this is another way to die. And you've got to laugh at sort of... Um, <laughs> Achievements and trophies like this, don't you? Find the best way to can to die. Very narcissistic. <laughs> Very uh, ep ep pessimistic as well. So anyway, we will restart. Get some sticky stuff. Uh, because we will definitely need it. Because what we actually need to do is fix that bit of electric-y boy. Uh, climb up on the right side of the plank right here on this two bit there's two bits of wood climb up on the right side one uh, we'll be coming up to another collectible again uh, you can sprint up these pieces of wood as well so you don't actually have to go as slow as i did uh, just keep climbing up and we are going to be coming up once again to another collectible which is just on top of a book it's just somewhere around here and you can just see it so there it is. So go ahead, jump onto that, grab that for us. So then now it is just a simple case of jumping down using our big old skinny boy bug steroid legs, which is the exact same size as mine. Squatting does nothing for me. <laughs> Anyway, so back to where we died with the electric. Obviously, make sure there's no electric seeping out of it. Climb on it to push it down. Then use your sticky stuff on it. That will hold it together. No need for any masking tape or anything like that. Just get a bit of sticky stuff and that works well. Now go up to the rotary spinny boy. That will obviously get the electric seeping through it this time. And you see the sort of clock pressure timer thing on the right-hand side? You need to get that sort of between three and four. So you need to keep spinning it. As soon as it gets sort of between three and four, let go. Just make sure it's, it's one of those. Don't do it constantly, otherwise it'll just sort of explode and do nothing. So you've got to make sure it's roughly around three. So keep spinning it, stop, keep spinning it, stop. And eventually it will uh, fire up and that will get us to the next point of the game. Let me see. Uh, yes, just as I thought. As I mentioned before, the first set of documents needs to be prepared. This will take some time. Uh, so what about me? Should I just wait? That's what many of the accused... So, for some reason, even though Joseph's going to court and is going to be arrested and sent to prison for some reason, nobody actually knows his court date yet. Or the lawyer doesn't, at least. But that is where we come in. Now, again, we'll be using a rotary spinny boy to change it. And what we need to change it to is Montag 3 Juni. So, basically, just look at the numbers and just make sure... Obviously, it's a little calendar, so obviously make sure... You go on sort of zero three. Don't worry about the the date on the left hand side. Just make sure to put it on to the um, actual number, because what that will do then, if you put it to zero three there, it's on Dan Stag at the minute. 
Um, but obviously when you change the month, that will obviously change the day as well. So there you go. Put it on to Dienstag 3 for now and then change it to Juni. Juni. Not Julie, but Juni. There we go. Stop. Just stop. Okay, there we go. So Montag 3, Juni. Make sure that is the date and then we can move on. And then the lawyer's going to be all like, Oh, yes. Make sure to ring the bell here as well and he'll go, Oh, oh yes, of course. I'm a bit senile, you see. I don't know why I'm still a lawyer, because I obviously don't know when the bloody date is. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et but this time, now we can move on from there. We are almost done with this part of the game. Finally, just climb up a couple of pencils right here. Again, usually all just sort of linear pathways. Jump into the blue bowl to get some blue sticky boy stuff. And you see the drawers in front of us, that is where we will be heading, that will be our final destination, so clamber up here. Uh, again, only really one, all we're doing is going up, up, up and away, where the music is our fantasy. <laughs> Good song, that. Jump on here, that will actually make it break. Or oh, is it the next one? Sorry, it's the next one. The next one you jump over makes it break. And the old guy is just like, talk some old old 110 Mr. Burns nonsense. So up we go. Again, we're sort of uh, going on this sort of linear pathway, but we are heading for the big, big draws right in front of us. Again, remember to press and hold the B button if you want to see sort of where you're going or any of the objectives or anything like that. But just head down right here. There is going to be another collectible before we head to the draws. So make sure to grab that. Otherwise, we can then swiftly move on. Nothing is being rushed. Everything has been thought through. Probably for too long. The decision is final. Then allow me to say a few words. You are running the risk of catching a cold for no reason. The circumstances are important enough, and you've become impatient. I am not impatient. It is just that I came to you, hoping that this case would become less of a burden for me. Well, quite the opposite is happening. If you would represent me, I will end up worrying about the case much more. I will always, without ceasing, be waiting for you to do something. It will grow more and more tense. As for the information about the trial itself, supposedly held in secret, I learnt by pure luck that I have a hearing the same day. After a certain point in the proceedings, nothing new of any importance ever happens. So many litigants at the same stage in their trials have stood before me just like you are now and spoken in the same way. Then all these other litigants have been right, just as I am. I wasn't trying to show that you were mistaken, but I expected better judgment from you than from the others. I've given you more insight into the workings of the court and my own activities than I normally do. But despite that, you have too little trust in me. You are not making it easier for me. You see, I have the impression that you have not only misjudged the legal assistance I have given you, but also that you believe that you are being handled. Right then, so that is the lawyer's office done with. Now we are in the nitty gritty in the heart of where we're trying to find the certificate. By the way, love the music at this point. It is awesome. Love the, some of the music breaks on this bit. So go across the pencil, but turn to the left right here. We'll be jumping across to the left rather than going straight because as we know, there is another collectible coming up.
Well, I mean, I suppose you didn't know there was another collectible coming up, but there it was anyway. So now we can just head back. We are needing to get across, which, of course, is easy enough. So again, this sort of, like most of it in the game, is just this sort of one linear path. Uh, go across the bugs. Again, you can talk to all these bugs if you so wish, but there's no need to. Not, not yet, anyway. I don't think that falling pencil can kill you. I'm not too sure. I'm going to climb up, climb up. Uh, basically, we're just going to uh, just jump ahead to that um, bit of machinery in front of us. So there's going to be a little sort of lift. There it is on the right-hand side. You can go around the back of this mechanism or around the front. It really doesn't matter. You're there anyway. Of course, make sure to take your time not to fall off because, well, as you know, that shit would probably hurt. And we're just not up for that. Especially if you're a bug and you're falling about a thousand feet from the air. That really hurts. <laughs> anyway, we are coming up to another collectible now. Uh, you don't need to drop off the edge right here. I'm just taking a look. But it was the wrong bit. So we'll jump across to the desk in front of us. Just keep moving forward. And there's going to be a, little, a few books that we can jump onto on the underneath. Obviously, you know, just be aware. Take your time. You should be good. Try and jump on the books. That'll just make it easier. And then just jump down and grab the next collectible. But obviously we've just jumped from a height. And the only way we can do that is to basically jump straight off the desk. But luckily that will give us somehow a very conveniently, fantastically placed flying piece of paper about. Just for us to uh, not die on. Which is always handy. So thank you for that. Very conveniently handy, that. And if you missed that one, there's another conveniently handily placed one a few seconds after. But of course, just wait until you jump where I jump. And now this next bit is always good for a laugh. We need to sort of get through. There's three sets of rollers that we need to get through. So the first one's easy enough. We can just climb up onto the side and go under here, which is brilliant. But the next one there just has a hole in it, which I actually tried dying right here, but I lucked into it. Um, but what we actually need to do for Captain Planet, we need to die by rollers. So that's why I'm actually staying on this one. We will die by the roller. That's Captain Planet 5 out of 6. But yes, for that first one, there is a hole underneath which you need to just get right. Like I said, I actually meant to die and then show you how to do it properly. But I bloody lucked into it, which is just... Well, it's not really my luck. But <laughs> So for the next set of rollers, we can just walk under anyway. Get on to these cogs. Again, we're coming up to another collectible. So stay on the right-hand side of these cogs. And you can just see a little bit the way we can jump down. And there you see the collectible right there. So just make sure that you're obviously not going to fall onto the floor first. Uh, just make sure you can jump down on this bit. And then how do we get back up, you see? Well, we'll be doing a running jump and death-defying jump. Oh, and that's even a handier piece of paper that comes to a rescue. And it puts us right back to the second set of uh, rollers there, so that's nice. This time, though, we can just carry on moving forward, past all the cogs. Don't have to jump down or anything this time. And obviously just jump on the ones that are going up rather than the ones going down. That should be pretty obvious advice, but sometimes when you get in a panic, you don't know. Uh, stay up on top of here, or the next... One, I believe, sorry. Yeah, so we need to get back onto the piece of paper. This bit may take you a few tries. We need to get stamped. Not literally stamped, of course, but we need to be in the middle of it. So jump onto a piece of paper. Be very, very careful. You have to do this section quick now. So as soon as the uh, stamps come down, jump immediately to your right. And then jump. That's how you jump over the rollers then. So as soon as the stamps come down, jump on it. And then you can jump to the right, and then that is that little section done, and we can move on. Uh, there's a little gap between the cogs right here, which we will need to be jumping down. So there it is. And then that's basically the end of this section. In fact, actually, before we do that, we'll be going straight 
and we will be getting our Captain Planet achievement right here. So before you go to the left, go straight into the furnace. Well, talk to the guy there if you if you have to, if you can avoid him. I don't think it makes a difference, but straight into the furnace. Girl, you are dead! And that is that for Captain Planet. So we've died. So you should be unlocking that there. We should now have died in six completely different ways. And, you know, try this, this time, you know, try not to die in the fire, which would be a lot handier. But otherwise, we're just climbing all the way up. There's nothing else for me to say at the minute. We're just climbing, climbing, climbing. So once you get through here then, you can either jump on the pipes or stay at the bottom there, but I just jumped to the bottom so we can move forward. And basically we will be jumping on another conveniently placed handy bit of paper. I can show you the world. On a goddamn piece of paper or something. Aladdin's really changed its stuff. This is the, uh, you know, less PC so it doesn't offend everyone version. A bug flying on a piece of paper, Aladdin style, bro. Oh, yeah. So here we are. We're jumping off again. This bit, again, all we're doing is climbing. Again, I fell off about three or four times on this part, mainly at the very top. So just be careful not to obviously fall off again it's just a minor inconvenience but it is a pain in the ass and it was this bit so be careful with this bit wait until it sort of gets down don't jump too far like i almost did and then just take your time to go up obviously you'll have to crawl just to your right a little bit and then just try and do a big massive cheeky boy jump there we go but you should be good from this point on Right, so there is a mechanical arm that we need to be using. Sadly, we're too small to use it properly. So what we're going to do is jump across the sort of bottom of the arm, the base of the arm right here, just across to the other side. And we're going to see some rotary spinny boys that we need to use. And the, the there's letters and numbers, obviously, to fall to the correct ones. So the one that we need is E6. So when you... Drop it down to E, go across to 6, and then we'll have to go back to the other side to actually operate the arm. Still, I mean, how is this here in the first place? Well, it's very conveniently placed. Otherwise, if a human's doing it, it still just seems like a giant pain in the ass face.
So not only do we break the whole bloody thing, but that enables us to go. Uh, it also got us another achievement, which is always handy. So now, once again, all we're doing is climbing on top of the arm, climbing down. And once again, it's just another platformy, climby boy. Uh, not that hardcore section. So we're coming up to another small puzzle, the one with this sort of timer pressure clock from earlier on. And it's the same thing, you use the rotary spinner boy, um, but this time you just need to get it between 3 and 4 and then stop, and then press the button. So there you go, spin it round, get it between 3 and 4 and that should be fine, press the button and it should be good to go. If you do it any uh, lower or any higher and you push the button it'll actually blow you off, so you just have to climb that tiny tiny bit of section again. But that's all there is to that, and we is good to go now. Next stage of the game. And we are back in Bug Twin Town Country. I don't know, I just made that up, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Love Twin Town, what a film. So go ahead, jump down, talk to this big steroid infused bug, if you remember from a little bit earlier on. He's going to show you a magnificent certificate. Go to the left, the double doors will open now. We're basically going to be on a pirate ship, which takes us to the extra free roam part of the area. Of course, we wouldn't have been able to do this earlier on because we didn't have the certificate. So now this is just a... Um, what you're going to see is sort of Joseph in his court proceedings and everything, having a little conversation and being like, still, bruh, what in the goddamn dick did I do wrong? So just enjoy the scenery for now. The wooden scenery. Now, I've got to be honest, this was a part of the game I really did enjoy. So go to the left immediately from the ship, go down to the other end, sort of towards the back end of the ship where we were, and there is the next collectible right there. And you can see all those acid-infused acid trip forks on the left. I don't know what the hell they are meant to be. Well, they're forks, I suppose. I just said it myself. But anyway, so we have got quite a little bit to do in this section, but it definitely was one of the more fun uh, sections of the game rather than trawling through desks and everything all the time. And apologies about the vibrations right there. I'm a popular man. Not really. So just keep going straight, keep going straight until you hit the end rock. Go up this wooden plinth right here, or this wooden bit. See the price poster? Go to the left of that. And then just keep climbing up for now. Climb up these rocks, again next to where that sort of price poster was, and there is the next collectible. There might be times sort of in this section where it might get a little bit confusing first, but it, it's easy enough, completely easy enough to get used to. So for now, we'll just jump down, go all the way around until we reach this sort of hole in the wooden wall or whatever it is there. And that is another collectible. And we are going for another collectible, sort of just to almost finish them off now. So go towards the center where this whole mass of bugs are gathered and you'll see a sign for the town hall right there. Go to the left of that and just climb, keep climbing up the wooden pieces of wood, which is always handy. Uh, try not to fall down like I almost did right there. And climb, climb, climb. And instead of going straight up there, go to the right and you'll see like a uh, tall wooden tower. I was gonna say small, but it's a tall wooden tower. And it's this bit right here. All we need to do is just climb to the very top again. Try to be careful not to fall off. It's just an inconvenience if you have to keep doing it again and again. 
And then this the collectible is at the top of this wooden tall tower. So there is that one done then. I think that I'm pretty sure we've only got one more which we can get in the next level, the tower level. So uh, jump down, keep going straight ahead for now. We will be getting another easy achievement. So keep flying down, keep flying down. And just on the right here is a bar. Now what you'll have to do is talk to this bug first. And he's going to say, Titorelli. For some reason, it's an Italian bug. Titarelli sounds Italian. Then just talk to the three bugs at the bar. Talk to that same guy who asked about Titarelli again, and that is where you get the achievement. Right, so the main point of this bit is to get a projector, a projector to work. That's all we've got to try and do, but there's quite a few steps to do it. So go straight ahead from where you got the achievement there. Uh, go ahead and climb up. Again, it is another little bit of a climb, which is a minor inconvenience again if you do end up falling. So again, just try to be careful. But then when we get to the top, just talk to the director at the top of the screen, who is directing nothing because it's a blank screen. But then we can move on from there. Right then, so first things first, we can actually jump down from here. Don't be afraid, just let your big bug legs go. I'm not sure if falling all the way down would make a difference. I don't think it would, but always worth a try, isn't it? So just go straight forward and you see the price poster again there. That is where we are heading. So we'll go up here. We're basically getting another achievement now and we're going to be helping a little dude out. So go to the left. Um, yeah, keep going to the left because I don't know why I did that. That was literally probably the most pointless thing in the whole video, I expect. But we have been to this point before. It's where the collectible was in the hole, wooden, uh, hole in the wooden wall. But this time, go straight ahead, talk to the bug. Yeah, don't worry, this uh, roid boy is not going to do anything to you. So again, this is just like an, another tiny, small climbing platform section. Just jump on this bit again, just try to make sure not to fall off. That will actually release the prisoner and that will unlock us the achievement. And this bug has a cup on him. Probably because he's got a big, massive bug schlong. Ah, gross. Gross. Anyway, from Titarelli's assistant. Didn't want to spoil that for you. Go to the right and then go all the way, all the way to the very end. Don't think about bug schlong tonight, okay? If there's bugs in your bed, don't worry. He's not trying to hump you. Um, <laughs> all the way up. And this is where Titarelli is. And he's got that epic uh, Italianly bugly moustache as well, which is... Banging. But from here, we can now, we've got a few things for him to do. Again, he actually obviously describes and explains what you need to do. So if you would rather that, rather than just watching the video, if you want to see what you actually have to do, obviously talk to these bugs, just see what you've got to get them to do. But now we actually need to find Titarelli's assistant again. Now he could be in just random places for you. He could still be by his prison cell. He could just be um, right around here, but for me he was actually a further bit down. So if you can't find him, press the B button of course, and you will see a little icon, the I icon, and that is where you obviously have to go. So if he's not there, just he just goes for a random walk, so it could be in any random place for you. So just press the B button, look at the I icon, and then just follow that until you find him, you son of a bitch. You told me you were going to Titarelli, and then he just pissed off. Jerk off. Anyway, less jerking off Titarelli's assistant, more going to Town Hall now, which is just to the left of where this big mass gathering is, and talk to the accountant here. So 
So from this section then we just need to get back to Titarelli so you can go the same way I do. I just thought it was the quickest way to go or you can get there any way you like. But it, Titarelli is down the opposite end of where the jail cell is. Maestro, I did it, eh? Hey! Sorry, I'm, I am extremely sorry to all Italians who have to listen to that. I <laughs> love you. Anyway, where are we going now? We're actually going to the mass congregation where the uh, preacher bug is basically... Well, you know how it is. I'm not, I'm not going to say much on this one, but I find it all a whole load of baloney. Well, they say, Jesus is salvation, and you've got to... Kill yourself so you can get into heaven or, or whatever the preachers go like. But anyway, all we have to do on this bit, talk to the preacher, and you've just got to talk to a variety of bugs. Um, up to 15, 20, maybe even quite a little bit more of that. So just talk to as many bugs as you possibly can until Gregor himself says, I think that should be enough bugs for now, or I think that should be enough. Then we can talk to the preacher again and get the achievement. I mean, of course, you're going to get a lot of rejection, um, so don't be disheartened, just keep talking to all the bugs. It has to be different ones, but then, there we go, we say, no, that should be enough. As soon as you see that, get your ass up to the preacher, and that will unlock us the achievement, and then we can just go basically straight behind and talk to the... Remember the fast food ant from earlier who was eating an apple? Well, he's a lazy son of a gun, and we need to actually get another one for him. Yeah. Do it yourself, man. You're bigger than me. I'm just a tiny weenie bug. Wee. So the oh the hunger artist, sorry, not the hunger bug. But you see that you've just seen the apple. It was just up there where the lights are. I mean, it must be one of those forbidden apples. You know, like uh, God says in the Bible, Adam and Eve can't eat a uh, apple or something. I don't. I just remember it off the Simpsons, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, it's an easy climb up, and all you got to do is just head onto the apple. That will automatically roll down, and then that bit is done. <laughs> Simple. And he doesn't even offer you any, even though you just done all the hard work, which... Sounds about right for most jobs these days, does it not? You do all the hard work, and you get offered nout. Zilch. Thanks, mucker. But from this point, we're going to be getting an achievement now... Like I said, hopefully you've been talking to the exact same bugs that I do. Because if the projector doesn't work a little bit later on, it means that you've missed a uh, potentially a bug that you've had to speak to. Whether that's Titarelli or the guy that was standing next to Titarelli or his assistant. Um, I fell there. I didn't do that on purpose. I accidentally fell. Because where we are going is, again, in between the sort of jail cell. You, you'll notice this place. The collectibles in that tall tower. And you see that this wise woman place is open now. It was closed earlier. But just talk to her. And that unlocks another achievement. There's a hole in the wall that we need to go through now. Now I think quite a few people potentially miss this guy. But we have to come back here after we do this. And talk to this guy. And he's basically going to talk about his... Uh, Films, he wants action in them. So yeah, if you don't talk to that guy, the projection, the projector doesn't actually work. So importantly, 
it is important to do that, sorry. From there, go to the right, and then basically straight down. And we are going... Basically, that is it now. So we're going to talk to... In fact, we're not even going to talk to the director, sorry. But we are just going to press the button on the projector, and then we will enter the last level, which is the tower. Yippee! So this is it then, the tower, what we've all been working towards ever since we got turned into a bug for some reason which wasn't entirely highly explained, but there we go. So we've got a uh, reception, I mean damn man, he must be bored, the <laughs> he's just a reception in a lowly, I mean it's a nice place, looks like a nice crumbly rocky place, perfect for bugs, but we need to go into this sort of uh, building right here, uh, it can be Sometimes tricky to find where the hole is. <laughs> that means two things. Again, uh, just go all the way to the end and talk to the main man, the only main man that is in the building. Right, so now we've got a little bit of climbing to do, and this is where we're actually going to be getting our final collectible. So hopefully, you following along with the video would have got this as well. So get the blue sticky sticky boy stuff, climb up these little bits of rock right here, and then just go to the left. Uh, turn to the left, and you are going to see we need to jump on that big rock there so we can get to the rocks above, I suppose. Jump to the left, and what we're doing now is basically just going all the way to the end and then climbing up. Easy so far. So to get this last collectible then, climb up, but go to the second sort of opening on your left. So there's the first one, and here's the second one. That is where the collectible is. You can just see it in the distance there. Bam. Job is literally a good one. Now we are finally done with all the collectibles. Thank God. And with that, we can just keep on climbing up to the third point there. And now we can continue with the story. So this is the sort of main bit of where we need to get the two endings because we are going to have to replay this chapter twice. So push this button first and then push it again. That'll get it to the sort of other side. But this is the main point where we will be getting the two endings. So we'll have to get the first ending first and of course the we'll have to replay the tower section to get the second ending. Again, try not to fall and walk into doors and everything, but climb to the top of here. We'll need to go to the spinnery rotary boy. We've got a few little things to do in here. And then all we need to do, we are going back down to zero. As you see on the sort of elevated door in front of you, put it down to zero first. Then go ahead, push the button in front of you, and then watch a long, unskippable, sadly, cutscene with Joseph. You're actually pretending to be the lawyer or something right now but I mean you literally could have said anything at this point you could have been like 
I know how long your nipples get when they're hard, or tell Joseph a secret, and then he's like, oh my god, only Gregor knows that, what the hell? Really freak him out, you know? Opportunity missed, I think. <laughs> Tomorrow? It's not ready yet. So why did I come here today? To learn that I have to come back tomorrow. That doesn't make sense. That's his But what's the verdict? You know for sure. Only not this class. This is the procedure. You and your procedures. You know my best friend is missing. I'm afraid something might have happened to him. Why am I thinking about him now? He might turn your back. Gregor would have helped me in this trial. He was always very agile, you know, with people. He could convince them. A born salesman. Please, I'll for your judgment. You already know the word. I may not describe. You already said that. Goodbye. So we've bought some time, we still don't really know what's going on, but we've bought time anyway, so uh, what we need to do now is put the spinning rotary, uh, rotary boy up to the first level right there, and then push the button again, and then what you need to do, go to the microphone and press the X button, and the guy is basically going to put a contract down or whatever it is into the box that we pushed in underneath a little bit earlier on. So jump behind, down to the mechanism, there's going to be some spludge, some sticky stuff right here. You don't actually need to use it to get up here like I did for some reason. And then just push the button to make the contract come out, or the verdict, sorry, not the bloody contract. If you do that, it's fine because <laughs> nobody, you didn't sign it, so. So then, this is... Like I said, this is the point where we are getting the two endings then. So we have to basically mess around with the verdict t twice. Obviously to get, like I said, both endings. But the first one, we are literally crossing off Joseph's name. We're signing it. We're basically betraying our best bud, Joseph, for some reason. Because you want some bug punani, that's why. So get rid of your name right there. Obviously using the sticky stuff. Obviously using the left trigger. Get rid of Shuldig, which... I don't know what Sheldig is. Is that a month or a day? Anyway. But we're literally just completely getting rid of everything. All the names, all the everythings. That unlocks us another achievement as well. And uh, yeah, now we can go back to the uh, Spinnery Rotary Boy. And what we're going to be doing is basically just condemning Joseph. And then, well... Then we've got to do a little bit of running. So obviously push the button before we do that. And now we need to go back up. So once we are here, spin it all the way to number three. Push the button, press X or the square button if you're playing on PlayStation, of course. Next to the microphone, that will condemn Joseph. And you are a betrayed Joseph, and that means that you are a jerk off. Sadly, that's how it goes, especially in most games. You can never have happy endings, can you? You've always got to be a dick in games, apparently. So now our helpful mechanic friend is going to get rid of this uh, picture for us. And, well, it seems nice and calm on the surface, doesn't it? So we'll climb up, we'll push this button, and this is the end of the game. Apart from it's not, because now the tower's actually exploding, so now we've got to make a break for it. Um, I actually <laughs> do a better jump than I did here. <laughs> I, I kept that in because I thought it was funny. Just try and do a better jump. Um, obviously, 
do your sort of get a little bit further away, right trigger an A, hold it as far as you can. There we go. Now we should be good to go. It's not as um this part this part is not actually as dramatic as when we get outside. But I don't think it's not timed or anything, so you can take your time, so don't worry about rushing and being under pressure. Um I don't think you can die unless you just fall off, but this bit is easy enough anyway, just follow the path. And enjoy the dramatic music. But just in case you do get stuck, look for the little bit of writing that's on the walls. That is basically giving you the direction of where you need to go. Just follow the white bits of writing. So this bit is the final platforming section, obviously you only jump onto the rocks that do have the said white writing on them. If you jump on any other rocks and bricks they are going to fall and you're going to die and you have to do this part all over again which is a pain. But otherwise when we get to the wood here you can't jump, okay now you can't jump, uh, but we're just going to the end and that is basically the end of the game. So when we get there what we'll have to do then is obviously wait, for, um, wait until the credits roll unlock the achievement for getting the first ending and then we can replay this chapter again but just go straight through we're going to be we're going to return as Gregor as ourself I mean man what a hangover that was They cannot be police officers. Come on, you'd laugh if those two come to arrest you, eh? Bloody Jesus. <laughs> you got chubs and ugh, creepy. Chub and creep. Nothing wrong with it, but, you know, I'd laugh if they come to arrest me. So, go down to chapter select, and we're doing the tower level once again. And, like I said, you just have to slam through this bit, unfortunately. I did keep it in the game just so you can play along with me. But, obviously, the main bit of how we get the second ending is the verdict where we sign the verdict otherwise I'm not going to be talking much I'm just going to leave you to it apart from laughing at those two police officers again seriously though how the hell did they get a job somebody athletic and fit no thanks and you've got bloody nonce and nonce here yeah no problem <laughs>
I was told to come here. What next? Please grant thank you for your knowledge. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> so? Tomorrow? It's not ready yet. So why did I come here today? To learn that I have to come back tomorrow? Me. That doesn't make sense. But what's the verdict? You know for sure. Tell me that this class This is the procedure. You and your procedures. You know my best friend is missing. I'm afraid something might have happened to him. Why am I thinking about him now? He might go that back. Gregor would have helped me in this trial. He was always very agile, you know, with people. He could convince them. A born salesman. Please, no matter for your judgment. You already know the word. I may not disclose. You already said that. Goodbye. So here we are then, here is the point of no return, so we need to get the contract, contract, verdict, <laughs> out eventually, it does take a couple of minutes, but there it is, obviously we need to get these sticky stuff from just below it, so let's go and grab some of that, this time obviously we completely blanked out absolutely everything, didn't we, this time all we are doing then is signing it, so all we got to do is sign it on the very bottom, Squelchy, squelch, 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 squelch. And again, I'm not sure. Just try and fill the box as much as you can. I think that should be pretty plenty then. Um, but that's all we've got to do. So just do that. Fill the box as much as you can with your own ink. And then, of course, just simply head up to the spinny rotary boy for the shocking ending. Shocking. Well, after, of course, as you already know, we need to run out of the tower because it starts collapsing in on itself like a big anus gland or something. <laughs> anyway, so for this one, you're thinking, what do I have to do? Where do I have to go? If you just keep spinning, keep spinning, there's going to be a secret fourth number on there. Well, it, there's four numbers on there, but I mean a fifth button with four numbers. So go past three. When you get to three... Bam, keep spinning it and it gets to a secret and identify their fourth object. So then we can basically push the button. There it is. And then obviously press the X button. Verdict gets accepted. And now we have saved Joseph. So well done. Well done, guys. It was a hell of an experience, but we did it. But of course, we still need to run out of the burning, anus infused disgustingness. That is the tower as it collapses in on itself. Hello there.
nice so we've made it right everyone has a happy ending we're gonna jump through joseph's gonna be there and we're gonna be like nice except wait what what in the shit is this huh right then so we got played used and abused i feel so violated so basically there is no happy ending, so you either mess up your best friend or you save him, but you're a bug forever, so there is, there is literally no happy ending, so... Thank you, Ovid Works. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, yes. Why do games do that? Why not just give us a goddamn happy ending? But, that is that anyway. Now, there is an achievement for getting all of the achievements, which... I never normally like because they can get a bit dodgy as in they don't unlock straight away. So there we go. So it didn't unlock for me straight away. So what we need to do then is completely just quit out of the game. Get yourself back in there and then the achievement should unlock on arriving to the main menu. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the game you enjoyed and the guide helped you out too. And that, you know, we had a good laugh on the way. Of course, don't forget to check me out on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. And again, thank you. If this did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, thank you so much to TimG84 and others for the continued support on Patreon. If you do want to take a look, be a supporter of the channel for so many extras and content and Patreon-only prizes, go to patreon.com forward slash the Welsh Hunter. But thank you so much again, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. Big love.